Hello everyone, and welcome to this Red Dead Redemption 2 guide to getting Horseman Challenge 9 with Arthur prior to the epilogue. This challenge is where you have to ride from Van Horn to Blackwater in under 17 minutes without touching water. As you'll probably be aware, getting this challenge prior to the epilogue is difficult as the entire county is under lockdown and being patrolled by Pinkertons with an insane level of accuracy who will kill you quickly on sight. This method I'm going to show you will make the time easy to beat, reduce the risk of you getting killed by the Pinkertons, but there is one catch. It involves jumping across a broken bridge which will significantly cut your journey time down but it is also an exceptionally difficult jump to make successfully. Although it's made much easier if you prepare correctly and know how to take it. This guide will show you how to do exactly that before illustrating the challenge completed in full. First off, you will want to prepare in the following ways. Get the right horse. Buying a Dutch warm blood is recommended from the strawberry stables. Practice doing the jump and build up a stock of health items, notably some minty big game and some tonics. As for part one, in terms of the right horse, I can't categorically say I know for certain what the best horse is to take the jump. However, I'm convinced that it isn't necessarily the ones with the best speed or acceleration statistics. I've seen flagged online, for example, that although the Arabians have the best statistics, they aren't great at making the jump because they're a small breed of horse. Similarly, I found my go-to thoroughbred which, although it's a fast horse, is actually poor at making the jump as well and tended to fail more often than not. I experimented with different types of horses and the one that I found had the best success rate was the Dutch Warmblood, a large animal classed as a workhorse. Most likely the game will have additional hidden stats for all the horses in the game code that we can't see, uh, much in the same way that cars do in Grand Theft Auto V that mod developers have since been able to access. I've tried other horse breeds, um, the Missouri Foxtrotter for example, technically that looks like a superior workhorse to the Dutch Warmblood in every way in terms of acceleration and speed. However, I didn't seem to be able to make the jump successfully as often with it. So if you don't own one, I would recommend buying a Dutch Warmblood from the stable to the south of Strawberry. Um, it's quite cheap, it should be $150, a bit less than that if your honour is in good shape. Also make sure when you buy it that you have some stirrups enabled that will boost its handling and acceleration by two bars. Don't worry about the bonding with your horse or pushing it to a higher level. I was able to make the jump comfortably with only level one bonding. Secondly, you want to practice doing the jump. To begin with, here's how you do it successfully. You can find the jump at this point on the map, east of Fort Riggs. To start with, there are some complications. You can't take a run up at the bridge. If you try to, your horse will automatically slow up when it reaches the two bridge posts. Also, you can't pick up that much speed in the middle of the bridge as the uneven surface doesn't allow the horse to accelerate as quickly. It's exactly the same as when you pass over a railway bridge, your horse will automatically slow down when it's riding across it. However, this is the most single important thing you should do when attempting to do the jump. On the right hand side of the bridge, there is a single piece of wood running all the way along. If you align your horse to the edge of the bridge, you will be able to pick up more speed. 
So as soon as you move the horse slowly through the posts, move it all the way to the right hand side of the bridge. Don't worry, your horse won't fall off the edge at this point. Once you're aligned, accelerate as much as you can and jump at the last possible moment, angling slightly left as you do so. If you do that correctly, you should be able to make this jump every time. It looks simple, but believe me, it is easy to mess this jump up. The last thing you want to do is ride all the way from Van Horn and then fail at this point. Therefore, I would recommend you practice this jump and only attempt Horseman Challenge 9 after you have been able to practice and do it successfully three times in a row without failing. Just make sure you save the game before attempting. If you do fail the jump, it's probably going to kill your horse. There is a very quick looped route, as shown here, you can do that will allow you to practice this very quickly several times in a row. I would seriously recommend you do this. I fluked the jump on my first practice attempt and then failed miserably after falsely concluding that it was easy and riding across two states to try and do the challenge. I'm not certain of all the factors that may affect your chance of success at making the jump, but Rockstar Games can have quite complex dynamics that affect the performance of the horse and other character models. With this in mind, before taking the jump, I brush my horse to make sure it is clean and feed it in case any of those might adversely affect the horse's performance. Um, this may not make any difference at all, um, but it can't hurt to try it out and by taking the jump you will easily beat the 17 minute time window so you have plenty of time to calmly set yourself up for the jump as best you possibly can. Finally when you've made the jump you will need to consider that you will probably be fighting the Pinkertons when you get over to the Great Plains on the final leg towards Blackwater. It's therefore a good idea to have a stock of items to do this. I would recommend preparing some minty big game at your campfire as this will give you a gold health core and also have some miracle tonics um, to boost both your health and your dead eye simultaneously which you'll be able to purchase from any doctor's office. If you get spotted by the Pinkertons then you can of course try to outrun them. However, if they get close to you, they will kill you in no time, as their accuracy is insanely good. With this in mind, as soon as they appear on the map, I prefer to pick off at least some of them from a distance, using Deadeye and Express Ammo with a bolt action rifle. I would start firing back and concentrating on eliminating them as soon as you hear shots fired in your direction as if you turn and flee and get shot in the back, you'll probably die very quickly. If however you weaken the patrol, taking out three or four members, then you can probably press on and outrun them without too much risk. If you're done with all of the preparation, then you are ready to start your attempt at the challenge. For this run, I camped outside Van Horn and slept until morning. As long as you set off before 6.20 a.m., you should get over the Dakota River Railway Bridge before the train leaves Rig Station at 8.48 a.m. Good luck and please check out the guide linked in the description for more Red Dead Redemption 2 videos.